Have you ever wondered how the United States expanded its territories to the West? It began with the annexation of Texas in 1845, a move that stoked the fires of contention between the United States and Mexico. You see, Mexico still considered Texas to be part of its territory, despite the Texan Revolution a decade earlier. Enter President James K. Polk, a man known for his expansionist policies. He believed it was the United States' destiny to spread across the continent from sea to shining sea. His policies however only served to further exacerbate tensions with Mexico, creating a powder keg of geopolitical strife. The annexation of Texas was more than just the acquisition of a new state. It was a political maneuver, a display of dominance, and a trigger for the inevitable. It was in essence the prelude to a war that would forever alter the landscape of North America. With the annexation of Texas, the stage was set for a conflict that would change the map of North America. On April 25, 1846, a dispute over the border between Texas and Mexico sparked the beginning of the Mexican-American War. The origins of this war lay in the annexation of Texas by the United States in December 1845. Mexico had never recognized Texas as an independent republic following the Texas Revolution in 1836 and considered this annexation a hostile act. The tension reached a boiling point when a detachment of American troops under the command of Captain Seth Thornton clashed with a larger Mexican force near the Rio Grande. This incident, known as the Thornton Affair, resulted in the deaths of 16 American soldiers. News of the skirmish reached Washington, D.C. in mid-May, and incensed the American public providing President James K. Polk with the casus belli he needed to declare war on Mexico. The early phase of the war was marked by key battles that would shape the course of the conflict. One such battle was the Siege of Fort Texas. For six days American forces under Major Jacob Brown held off a superior Mexican force led by General Pedro de Ampudia. Despite being outnumbered and under heavy artillery fire, the Americans held their ground. When reinforcements arrived under General Zachary Taylor, the Mexican forces withdrew. The Battle of Monterey, which took place in September of the same year, was another crucial engagement. General Taylor led a force of 6,500 against a well-fortified city held by 10,000 Mexican troops. After three days of intense fighting, the Mexican commander General Pedro de Ampudia negotiated a truce, allowing his remaining forces to withdraw. These early victories boosted the morale of the American forces and their supporters back home, but they also revealed the ferocity and determination of the Mexican forces, which would not be easily quelled. As the war raged on it became clear that the road to victory would be long and fraught with challenges. Despite some early victories the war was far from over. The year 1847 marked a turning point in the Mexican-American War. The stakes were high as the year unfolded. Two significant battles, the Battle of Buena Vista and the Siege of Veracruz, would play out, reshaping the course of the war. The Battle of Buena Vista, fought in late February, was a fierce confrontation. American forces led by General Zachary Taylor were outnumbered nearly three to one by the Mexican troops. Yet, despite the odds, the Americans held their ground repelling the Mexican forces in a stunning victory that boosted their morale and momentum. But the turning point was yet to come. In March American forces led by General Winfield Scott launched the siege of Veracruz, after a grueling bombardment lasting over a week, the city capitulated, giving the Americans a crucial foothold on the Mexican coast. This victory marked the beginning of Scott's audacious plan to capture Mexico City, a strategy that would turn the tide of the war. Scott's army then pressed inland, clashing with Mexican forces at the battles of Cerro Gordo and Contreras. The American forces, though often outnumbered, demonstrated remarkable resilience and tactical acumen. Their victories in these battles paved the way for their approach to the Mexican capital. In September, the American forces reached the gates of Mexico City. After a series of brutal battles they took the city, effectively bringing the Mexican government to its knees. The capture of Mexico City was not just a military victory, it was a psychological coup. The Americans had demonstrated their military might, and the Mexican forces were left demoralized and in disarray. The fall of Mexico City marked a significant turning point in the Mexican-American War. It signaled a shift in power and momentum, leaving the Mexican government with little choice but to negotiate with the Americans. With the fall of Mexico City the end of the war was in sight. On February 2, 1848 the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo was signed marking the end of the Mexican-American War. 
This peace agreement brokered in the town of Guadalupe Hidalgo brought the two-year conflict to a close, but it did more than just end the hostilities. The terms of the treaty were vast and impactful. Mexico ceded a significant amount of territory to the United States. This included vast stretches of land that we know today as California, Nevada, and Utah, among others. These areas, rich in resources and potential, would come to play a crucial role in the development and expansion of the United States. But the treaty was not just about land, it also included provisions for the protection of the rights and property of Mexican citizens living in the ceded territories, setting the stage for a complex cultural melding that continues to this day. The Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo not only ended the war, but also significantly expanded the territories of the United States. The Mexican-American War had far-reaching consequences for both nations. For Mexico, the war resulted in the loss of nearly half of its territory, a blow that would reverberate through its national psyche for generations to come. The human cost was equally staggering, with thousands of lives lost on both sides. Meanwhile, the United States saw a significant expansion of its territory, stretching its borders from coast to coast. However, this came with a heavy price. The newly acquired territories reignited the contentious debate over slavery, further polarizing the nation and paving the way to the Civil War. The war also marked a pivotal point in U.S.-Mexico relations, leaving a legacy of mistrust and discord that would linger for many years. Despite the passage of time, the echoes of this conflict can still be felt today. The Mexican-American War, a conflict that lasted for less than two years, left a lasting imprint on the history and geography of North America.